Hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now we do have two factories up and running beauty wise. They will not win any contest but for now functional wise it is fine. Of course it's not defined that we are going to keep them you know. So for now they're doing the job but well we can just get rid of them again just as easily. Now as you can see we got a few things here left in our inventory and well I think it's time to advance in the technology that we have to find out what lurks behind that so the jump pad is the stuff that we have right now and we do already have some rotors so I've got a few rotors there in my inventory and let's activate the last milestone, milestone of this tier. Reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. And off it goes. Now that was the last milestone that we have so we have no milestone here to research anymore we now need to finish a project from the space elevator at last so let's get over there and just have a look what that is as we can see everything else is working splendidly fine i think we'll need another iron ore though soon and we do need the smart plating now the smart plating does require the reinforced steel plating and the rotors both of which we already produce that is fine so let's have the materials we have the materials for everything we do have some cement uh, actually we can get a bit more cement over here we should be anyway yes well, let's get a bit more cement because we're going to need it now we do have everything for our foundations here very nice so that's the cement there as well for the walls we have the plating that is all we need and for the conveyor belt we do have as we can see lots of steel plating now and well we do need it so let's start with the third factory and that is for these oddly looking plates that we need for the project. And here we are at the factory for the reinforced steel plates and we can see that they're going down here into our storage depot where we already have a few of them. And just around that we do have, well hello, we do have ourselves standing around here. I have no idea why we're standing here, um, but well. It's a bit creepy looking at ourselves. I hope it's ourselves and not another player, but I don't think so. We are not in online mode, so that should be us. Anyway, I think he already knows what we are doing. Right, we're going to have a factory here. This is the perfect space for our, or well, for the factory where we combine the rotors and the reinforced steel plating, right? So first of all, as the organization, let's build us a lookout tower again, because of course we do want to have a nice little overview of what's going on. And this time we're pretty close actually to our main base, which is fine. And here we can combine that. That is just perfect because on the right here, following the pole line or following the power line here, we would go to the rotors. And here we have the reinforced steel plating with lots of space still. So in that case here, perfect. Let's start with the foundation. I love it when we begin with the foundation. So there's nothing here at the moment. And soon there'll be a bustling factory. So let's start. There we have the entrance then for the reinforced and here we have the foundation. And voila, there we have it, our foundation. Now I think that is already plenty or that is already enough. We only really need the assembler here since we have the products already for this one, you know. So we have the assembler that we might then have like this, right? And on the other side, well, the stuff gets out and we can then just have Milestone as many of those concluded. assemblers Exit here as we complete. want and then going for a second level as well if we need to in the future so that is perfectly fine for now let's have i have no idea how many assemblers we'll need so let's just have two of them for now two assemblers and of course what we should also have is well that it looks a bit bad to hear also Right, and then we already have our little factory building, of course, way too big for only a few assemblers here. But trust me, we are going to need that space. Now here, the iron plates are coming in and over there, the um, rotors are coming in. And for those guys, we do need now splitters because, of course, they are going to be splitted amongst all of these things. So we do need, let's have a look, there we have the splitter. And we can have the splitters then, I think, yeah, here, because they are coming then together in here anyway. So from this side we get the platings and from this side we're getting the rotors. So the rotors are coming from the other side into the building and the platings are coming from this storage depot. Actually we can keep the storage depot for now, right? And then the platings are coming in here already. So that is the first one. 
Actually, is that the right direction? Yes, that is the right direction. And here we have the other one. So this is now being split. And we're probably not going to need more than those two assemblers for quite some time. In that case here, if we need it, then, well, of course, we'll need another splitter where it then continues over there with more materials. But that is looking fine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is my mistake, of course. This one here, obviously. That's the one that we need. Otherwise, we would be delivering the plates there to do both of them. Now, the other thing is the conveyor belt for the rotors. And for that, we'll need a lot. And I mean a lot of plates, that is. We do have enough of them so far. But I don't trust that. So I don't think that 260 will be enough. So let's get a few more plates. And here we are at our rotor factory down there the rotors are coming there's the next one coming it's only one factory so far we have 42 in here actually in the storage and what we need to do now is well we do need to start with the conveyor belts going for quite some time actually what does it cost us cement starting here oh because of the conveyor belt i see that we have the conveyor belt and now we need to go all the way back to where we produce our other thing there and of course, this is going to take quite some time, but it is so looking so cool when those belts are taking that long distance there at the same time. Look at that. Cool, cool stuff. And here we go down again. There we have another kind of stairs for us as well. And here we are now at the factory building at the other entrance. So let's go all the way up here, I think. Let's see. And over there we already have the splitter. So here we go now into the building. And then we continue all the way there to the other side. And up there. Into this. Splitting it. And here then. Out of this one goes it for that one. And out of this one here it goes into that one. And thus the rotors should be flowing now. So we should be seeing quite a lot of them coming in here soon. Now, that is that. What we still need is power supply. Let's see what we have the pole. There's the pole. We can actually have a power line that goes here and then into the factory. So we're going to have the first power pole here, which is then connecting this one and this one. And here we choose the smart plating. And this is probably the culmination then of everything we know, the smart plating here. We're going to have a storage container. So this is kind of like our output storage container for this factory. And I should actually be using that more often than this exit here. Because I like that. And here what we still need is a merger. Oops, that was two. And then this one goes into that one. And this one goes into that one. So for now, that is a nice merger, of course. It's okay for two or three factories. Once we need more, well, we will need to upgrade this one. And here, the output goes into that depot. And that depot then, we can deliver right to the space station. Or, since I think we'll need those plates only for the space station, since it states, this one here, smart plating, send up the space elevator to complete phases of project assembly. So I think we'll only need this one here for the project, uh, for our space station there uh yeah space elevator so let's just get the conveyor belt right to the space elevator there and this is something where we actually have then those input slots because the lift the elevator has three input slots on either side i think i'm clipping through a few trees there but that should be fine can get rid of the trees then with some with my chainsaw there for example here so there we have our baby and let's get rid of the tree there there it's gone no more clipping and down here we go and as we can see over there is already the input And into this input and thus we have completed the first project step towards higher tier 
construction. Now, in this case here, hopefully, uh, after this, we get the coal. So this is as far as I've been so far. And we hopefully should be able to get to the coal soon because I really don't like to collect leaves anymore. Now, the only thing that is happening here is, well, we need to wait for 50 of those smart platings to arrive here. And this will then unlock tier 3 and 4 of the research. And there the rotors are coming in. So we are starting now production of that. But what I think is our next project already is, well, increasing the production of the rotors and the reinforced steel plates. Now, while our production continues um, and feeding the elevator there for our first project, what we still need to do or what we can do is, well, we can have a few more service buildings. That is not production buildings, but something like the awesome sink, for example, that we've researched earlier. And this one here, there we can sink in resources that we no longer need. So we can have that in, well, in a position like this. As we can see, there's also an input here, input door, where, yeah, I think actually we can squeeze something in that we have plenty of. In that case, hmm. We have plenty of cables, lots of cables. So we could have this one here, right where the cables end. I don't know if we need more cables in the future or not. Let's have a look at it. No power. It does need power, obviously. So let's have one of the power poles. It now has something here. There is our conveyor belt going right into the awesome insert. And there our cables are coming out and our wire into the awesome sink and as we can see here we now turn it into a coupon that is loading up and with that well i don't know we can use then something out of this one here the coupon we can then use in the shop so that we have the shop the awesome shop let's have the awesome shop here as well where we have the copper production at the moment so there is our awesome shop and here now with those coupons we can purchase additional items like a metal conveyor wall. With this one here, we can actually have then the conveyors through the wall in, with these windows there. That is amazing attachment that we have conveyor wall mount, hypertube wall, pipeline, foundation. We have some new foundation pieces here. The quarter pipe pack. I don't know what we need this for here, but we have some interesting new shapes here that we can purchase with that structures. We have the vehicle. So this one is the first one, the factory card. Some new organization stairs, that is important. Stairs are very important, I'm glad to see that finally. Statues, <laughs> something for myself. Equipment wise, we have the coffee, so this is probably the first one everyone gets to have the coffee then with him all the time. And here we can just purchase or turn it into something else like 200 biomass for example. Pretty cool stuff. So in this case here it makes sense, we have wires, we have cables on mass, so we really don't need that much at the moment, of course this might change in the future, but right now it is fine, and we can just turn it into those things, that's pretty cool, and we can then even set up our own shops just anywhere, you know, where, for example, limestone, we don't need that much limestone probably, and we can just then use it, and look at that, the first special project parts, the smart plating, is coming into our elevator now pretty cool looking item there and that was the work of yeah i'd say five hours of planning just to get this item here out of the factories that we built so far in our little factory town pretty amazing so let's just wait now for those platings there to pile up and i'm going to think about something else and i have thought about something else and that is our metal plating production that we have here so we are producing the metal plates that are primarily going for the reinforced plating then over there but we are producing a bit of a surplus here too and what i want to do here is well i want to craft another factory building that is implementing all of that into one combined space so this is looking more cleaned up so i guess let's do that right first of all what i want is we do need some storage containers for a buffer because the problem right now is that my inventory is full and those depots are full as well and we need to get rid of those depots whoa okay that was close i'm always losing a bit of health there let's actually put in what we don't need at the moment that is the reinforced plating actually we do have a bit of more space here oh we have biofuel okay we shouldn't have that with us here 
we have all the metal plating that is already being produced. So in this case, now I can get rid of it. Let's also put this one into the storage container. There we have another storage container that is empty only, and this one. And now we can also get rid of those belts there. Of course, this will hurt our reinforced plate production there for a few seconds, for a few minutes probably, but it's fine. And in that case, let's get rid of all of it. Because we need to rebuild the whole thing. Do we have enough free? Oh yeah, we have plenty of inventory space because of course all of that, all, all of the building materials are going into our inventory again. Oh, actually, the miners I can keep. The power lines I can get rid of. This one. I wish there would be something else where we could do... Oh, we can do it quicker. Look at that. That's cool. So we can just mark everything and then get rid of it. Amazing. So this is also how easy it would be to get rid of a factory building then, if we no longer need it. Right, so this is looking quite empty now. I think we still have something here. Yep. Oh, yeah. But we need to get this one into the storage depot. Bum, bum, bum. Over here, let's get the cement. Oh, actually the cement we need. But the plate ingots and the ore I don't need. And then... Oh, <laughs> this is full. Alright, everything is gone. Let's start once again with the foundation. I'm always so excited when it goes to the foundation of something. Let's actually use the, the higher, the middle ground foundation here that we need for this one. Starting with the first one is always the most difficult one. And then we just go all the way over there. I don't think that it needs to be that big, but let's just... Let's just build. There's actually a belt over that we certainly don't need there. Right, and of course, if we find more iron ore over there, for example, we can just transport it all then into this factory here, which is just for the sole purpose of getting the iron plates out of this one here. So I think this is going to be quite the big uh, factory close to my hometown here, close to my elevator, because we are always needing that. Let's just see, I need to build a miner over there now. Very good. There are the miners. There's actually some stone. No idea what we do with that, but so far so good. Then down here we have the smelters and well, actually right away the plating, right? Because we don't really need that much here. So we do have the constructors here. We do have the smelters over there. Now the, the real clean thing would be to probably go with a second level right away where we have the smell uh, the constructors and down here we have the smelters only but I know that we're never really going to need that many smelters because I usually have the smelters right where we have the miner. Right, so let's just do that as well. That we have the smelter going into the factory. Right, and then we can have the constructors. Alright, and it is working, so every smelter now has something for that. I just, you know, place them a bit closer to each other, it makes more sense. It could be even, of course, more cleaner, but I know everything right now is still only temporary, so we're just going to, well, build as we need it. Oh, and this one here, for some reasons, has lost its storage container. I hope I did not accidentally get rid of it, but in that case, of course... We do need to have something here. Oh, yeah, also power lines, its connection back to the power grid. So no idea why this happened here, but it should be a small thing to repair. Our cement or concrete production, that is. Now let's get back. We do produce now the platings again with three beautiful constructors. So there we have that. And this one is now being then brought on this belt there for, with a storage container. But in that case, that's going to be a very special storage container. We're going to have the connection out of those three. So we need to merge them kind of before it goes into the storage container. And we're going with, I think, the fastest belts then that we can have at the moment. So let's have the merger first. 
for those three guys here. And here it gets out. It then goes into a storage container that we have here. So not this one there. This one we have used as a buffer. We're going to get rid of that again. But here, rather want to have a storage container outside then. Close to, oh yeah, and we don't no longer need the lookout tower there. Right, close to that one here. Kind of the exit for the factory here then. So when we add more, we can then have more storage containers here. This one goes into that storage container. And probably it's best to use the fastest belt here right away. Oh, yeah, the plating. We have that here. All the plating. All right, just speed the whole thing up there. And as you can see, it is flowing. All going over there to the storage depot now. And here then, we're going to have the level 2 conveyor belts going out and connecting again with this one over here. And I think this one is the... Oh, no, this is still number 1. There it is connected, but I want to upgrade. And as we can see, now we have the highest level in here. It's not actually that expensive. It goes right in here, and I know we need lots of these plates there in the factory. So up here, where are they coming out actually? Oh yeah, here. This is where they're coming out and then going into the splitter there and then they're being distributed into those constructors. Now that is working. I'm happy. Oh god, I was almost dying here now. More of these plates are coming in. How many more do we need for our elevator for the first project completion? I think it's full. Yeah, it's full actually already and it's piling up here. Let's have it. Seal. All right, and send. Sending. Something is happening. And boom, the elevator goes into space with our plates. And off it goes. Beautiful. So that's that. I think we now have, yeah, we now need 500 of them. We then need the versatile framework and we need the automatic wiring. So I think those products here, like this one here, are only produced for the project. You know, so in this case you're 500 now. And this would unlock then tier 5 and 6. Now, let's go back to our main base, or to our headquarters, and see what we can actually produce new this time. I have a feeling that it's going to be either with the copper or with something completely new. Because iron is pretty much complete, I think, right? Or am I totally mistaken there? Level 3 and level 4. Coal power, there it is, finally. This is something I was waiting for. And with this we have the coal generator and we can then finally scan the coal. Allows you to scan for coal with the resource scanner. Beautiful water extractor, pipeline pump. We have then the tractor and the truck stations. We can then finally drive around. We have basic steel product, uh, production. Oh no, yeah, this is the versatile one that we need for the space elevator and then we have the steel ingot okay so we need even more iron in the future and tier 4 this one here has then the should be having there it is automatic wiring this one here and lots oh minor two lots and lots of new things here so holy moly this game is opening up but i'm so excited for the coal and that is what we're doing in the next episode getting the coal power online stay tuned